I need to get one of those car hanger things for the phone. Okay. So I got a job offer. Really, really excited about it. Pending my background check, which is going to come back just fine. So it looks like I'm going to be commuting to work, which is going to be exciting and scary all at the same time. You guys know how much I hate driving. But I'm really looking forward to a new opportunity, more money, more responsibility, all the good stuff. And I will be leaving in a week for like a month, a little over a month for training out of state. So that's all exciting stuff. You guys, yesterday I had the worst heartburn on the fucking planet. And I would never get heartburn, like ever. And it was after drinking coffee. Like, am I old? <laughs> Help. I thought I just was having like a bad day or whatever. And it got really, really bad at the end of my shift. And then I came home and I was sick for like two hours. And then it was better. And it really upsets me because I'm on this carnivore diet. Although I cheated on it last night. I was so mad at myself too because here I went and bought like deli meats and hard boiled eggs and then last night I ordered pasta and ice cream <laughs> and I never crave ice cream ever never so whatever I don't eat sweets like that very much so I just really wanted it and I think instead of depriving myself for so long and then just eating what I want which a normal meal of pasta and like a medium ice cream every once in a while isn't bad. It's when you do that every day. I should have just given in at work and had like a side of ice cream and then felt like I was getting a little bit of something instead of doing what I did last night. So I have to find some kind of balance. This shit's fucking ridiculously hard. But I have noticed in my face and stuff like the inflammation and stuff going down, which also I can contribute that to not drinking as much. Minus this past weekend. Oh my God, you guys. Like, I told you I met that guy. Extremely nice guy. I kind of just feel like I'm not ready to start anything right now, especially with, you know, going away for a while and this whole new job, it's gonna take up a lot of my time. I really don't need any distractions. But I never would have drank like that this weekend if I wouldn't have. And it's not his fault. Obviously, I make my own decisions. But then, you know, it's easy to pick that right back up again. And I don't need to be doing that. Okay, I went to the dollar store. Got some Blistex. It's a little haul. I need, I've been needing things. And I've been depriving myself of spending any kind of, like, money lately because... You know, I'm kind of transitioning and I don't really know if I'm going to be moving yet or not. So it's like, why buy a bunch of shit, you know? I'm really proud of myself for that. Oh, this smells so good. Medicated mint. My lips have been so dry. Okay. I also brought my work clothes with me. Or my work clothes, duh. My workout clothes with me because I will be taking my happy ass to the gym and not have any excuses. So they're sitting here with my headphones. I got a Monster Energy, which I probably shouldn't drink with a little bit of heartburn I do have right now. I heard that chewing gum helps it. So I'm gonna be chewing some fucking gum. Okay, funny story about this. So like a year and a half ago, I had a Listerine <laughs> addiction. Not like an addiction, obviously not drinking it. But I would be, I would just always rinse my mouth out like once an hour. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, cleanliness, like whatever. And my daughter, my oldest daughter was like, ew, you remind me of one of those old guys at the VFW who smells like liquor every time you use the mouthwash. And then I stopped using mouthwash and just brushed my teeth and stuff. We're getting back on it. I'm just not going to be as crazy with it. Got some eyeliner. I haven't been doing my makeup. Really? Because why? A fresh face of just skincare has been good. And honestly, I need a facial really bad. So when I start getting some money again, I'm going to be getting a facial. Because I have, like, no. My skin's always been, like, super clear and everything. And lately, I feel like it's just not the way I would like it to be. I got some... 
I said Omniprozole for my fucking heartburn because I'm old. I wanted Prevacid, but I think this is like the same thing. It's expensive as fuck too. But I cannot be suffering like this. I was gonna, I'm gonna bring my fancy coffee pot with me to Omaha when I go because it makes like fancy lattes and does all the frothy foam shit. But not if I'm gonna be having heartburn every time I drink coffee. Like that can't be a thing. I wonder what it is because I've been eating better too. I wonder if it's because I don't know. I didn't eat anything like crazy weird or fatty or anything the day before. I've been on this strict diet. Maybe my body just doesn't like healthy food. I don't know. Maybe the drinking again, but I've always drank. And last night I had a couple drinks too and it didn't make it worse. I don't fucking know. Oh God. Last night I watched true crime documentaries. I actually had a really good time by myself last night. I sat in my freezing cold house. You guys know I like it really, really cold. It's like 54 degrees in there. And I'm sitting in there. It's super fucking clean. Everything is smells so good. The only thing I will spend money on while I'm here is like a candle. You know what I mean? I have to have that scent. I have to have everything organized and smell good. And pine has been my thing right now because I love, it's like Christmas time. It's getting cold out. I know it's Halloween, but you know what I mean? Like, I like that scent. And usually I would be feeling bad or lonely or sad. And last night I sat in the silence and I was so thankful and proud of myself for everything I've accomplished. I laid on the floor with a really fuzzy blankie, ordered my food, watched true crime, and just enjoyed my own company. And I feel like that's the first time in a really, might be even ever, that I felt like that, you know, just like at peace, content. And I feel like a lot of it is because I've been working my fucking ass off and I put everything into my job because you guys know my job, like saved my life, everything. And I'm so proud of myself for just putting my head down and working and it's paying off. And so instead of usually trying to find companionship and like dating or happiness in other people, you know, even friends or anything, you know, it's like I'm seeking it within myself for the first time ever and I feel like I'm healing and I'm growing and it's a fucking slow, long process, especially with this health fucking journey. And I realized that feeling better about myself for accomplishing something hard, like not giving into a craving, feels way better than anything could taste. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. All I can do is start over. I mean, it's fucking one little thing of ice cream. And in my head, I'm like, ah, you fucking fat cow. Oh, stop. So we're just going to go work out after work, drink a bunch of water because I have not been drinking water like I have been. Ugh. It's a struggle, this health journey. But these are all good problems. It means that I'm trying to better myself. So, oh my God, also... This also shows how old I am. I fucking bought Dolly Parton perfume. I'm out of my good perfume and I am not spending $180 on Chanel right now. I'm just not for what, for who, stop. That used to be my thing, you guys know. I've been like rich, rich and I've been poor, poor. And when I first started making money serving and I had, you know, all my shit in order, I bought myself my perfume. My signature scent is Chanel Gabrielle. And like, that's what I always smell like. And that was the only thing I wore, just that one perfume. Because, like, that's just my thing. And I'm obviously not going to be spending that kind of money on shit that I don't need to. And there's no one I really want to smell good for. I just want to be clean. So, I'm at the Dollar General. I don't know why I like this. And I know she's, like, old. But she's a bat. She's a baddie, okay? So, like, I sprayed it. And then I'm like, no, I don't need this. I think I like it because it reminds me of my grandma. I don't want to be, like, wa walking around smelling like an old lady, but... Why not today? You know what I mean? Today we'll be old. It smells good though. It's three dollars. You know what I mean? Like you gotta have some kind of scent. Sheer hair. Oh, hair and body mist. Okay. I think you get behind this in the hair front for three bucks. Cause my fucking fake pony's tail smells like campfire from Carrie's house. And then I got this Ole notes of birch water and lavender, which smells really good. I bring all this shit with me when I go. Ah, oh, I love it. 
Okay. So that's what's up. I also got some mascara. They said I haven't really been doing my makeup. I just needed like little things. Little things that I'll use and are functional. The fucking heartburn shit better kick in. I had like two sips of coffee and I could feel it. I'm like, yeah, no, we're not doing this today. We are not doing this today. I'm scared to drink that energy drink. Yeah, so that guy, um, we, we hung out like a few days and he's really pressing to make this like a thing. But he told me he loved me the other night and I, uh, he said he was falling in love with me. Like, bro, it's been three days. What do you mean you're falling in love with me? The old toxic me would have been like, oh my God, that sounds fantastic. But like three days, oh, hold on, my, one of my work colleagues is calling. 